All right, so let's make a Gaussian point cloud um, where we just drop in a point and then it makes uh, a point cloud around it and we're going to have a seed. Um, the number of our points, uh, you know, the standard deviation for each of the three axes, uh, axes and um, let's make it out of our uh, Gauss component that we have up here that we've already made. So... put this out of the way and what we want uh, we want the seed we want the point number we want the center point and our standard deviation we want three standard deviations each for each axis SDY SDX and uh, so let's give the type hint uh, 0.3D for the center point, point number, type hint should be integer, it's already integer, seed should already be integer, it is uh, a float for our standard deviations. Okay so we have this uh, Uh, we're going to go through uh, the range of point. Did I capitalize that or yeah, point num? Uh, so instead of having our uh, random Gauss, our mean, and our uh, standard deviation uh, for our mean, we want to have let's for our X we want the mean to be and that's the center so we want the center point uh, in the X direction so this gives us the X value for for that point for standard deviation we want uh, the standard deviation for X And we're just going to copy and paste this and switch out the x's for y's. And that gives us the y position, and this gives us the x or z position. So z and y, and point equals rs dot add point. So we want to just add a point at x, y, z. Point. So this, let's see if this works. Uh, see, zero point number fifty-one. The center point is this point that I already have right here uh, for standard deviation. I guess we'll just do this. So let's test that. Um, SDZ is not defined. So uh, down here I have uh, I did did a typo. So and, and again I'm reading uh, this text down here to see what's wrong. Okay, so. So now we have just a basic component that we can drop in, in wherever we want, and uh, it's going to be organi organized around the point that we give it, and we can control how many points we want, and the seed. So uh, what I want to do now is when I drop it, I don't want to have to plug in these numbers all the time. So let's just look at what happens if I don't pass in an SDX, it bugs out. So what we can do above um, where we do our computation, we can do if SDX is equal to none, 
and here let me show you real quick uh, if we do print SDX uh, okay so we're not passing in anything to SDX we're going to print it and we get none and then we get our runtime error so we know that uh, if we don't pass anything in it's going to be none so if SDX is equal to none we want to um, give it a value of like 20 or whatever so then it's completed successfully so I uh, do this uh, often if I have large components where I give them initial values so I don't have to worry about uh, you know pulling them in and then setting up values the whole time if we just want some basic basic thing uh, I want it so you can just drop it in and get a point cloud out. So um, instead of uh, boring you with uh, typing in all the rest of these, I'm just going to going to go down and uh, copy and paste uh, from the one that I already had made. So uh, you can see. So you can see uh, if SDX is equal to none, we're going to have it 20, Y we're going to have 20, Z we're going to have 20. Um, if the center is none, we're going to, because the center, oh, and I named it something different, I called it center point in this. And in this script I also had point num capitalized. Okay, uh, so uh, center point is needs to be a point, so I'm just going to throw it in at the origin, and the point num is 50, and these are just are all arbitrary. It, so, and then also. Uh, we need to, I have these down here, but for our seed, we need to have it above where we, uh, where we seeded our rat randomness, so I'll just type that out. If seed, oh, seed is equal to none, we're going to have the seed equal to zero test. Okay, so um, if we take all of these out, it should should work. Okay, so now we have a, a component where we can just drop this component in and we'll, we'll have a point cloud for uh, Gauss, uh, according to Gaussian randomness.